Hi, my name's Bernard Wilkinson, driver trainer, and I'm going to be showing you how to change a damaged airline using the spannerless Betty coupling. Okay, so we've got a damaged airline, it's caught on the edge of the trailer, but first of all, we've got to be looking at PPE. If you're on a customer's premises, or even on your own premises, make sure you've got your high vis on, your safety boots. And first of all, before we change the airline, we're going to apply the trailer brake. So we've got the damaged uh, airline, so we're going to go inside the side locker now, get the new Bessie coupling out of the bag. Here we go. Take the new airline out. What we're going to do, just so we don't blow the bag away, we're just going to put it back in there until we actually put the, the broken one in there. Back in the bag. Okay, for the safety before we actually change the airline, because we're assuming that this is the damaged airline, we make sure we've got the unit brake on and we've got the trailer brake on. So now we're actually going to change the airline. So first of all, we're going to uncouple it from the trailer first. And now we're going to take the Bessie lock off. If we look at the key here, it's sort of like when we insert it's on like a vacuum, so it can't really drop out of the actual lock. So what we're going to do is take the co dust cover off, put the key in, turn the lock, as you can see, it's on a chain, so that can't drop either. And also, with keys on there, they can't drop. Simple, take the airline off, and now we can change it over. Okay, we're going to put the new Bessie coupling on now. And just so you know, they only go on one way. The unit uh, coupling with this end is totally different from the trailer coupling, so you can't mix them up. So, we're going to put the coupling on, put the lock back on. He's out and dust covered in. And now we're actually going to go back into the unit to build the air up before we put the line on the trailer. Okay, we've built the air, air pressure up naturally in the truck. What we're going to do now is actually couple the Betty coupling to the trailer. But before we do that, we're going to switch the engine off. We're now going to connect all the airlines on. Start with the Betty coupling. And the electrical lines. And now we can hear for any air leaks. Okay, we've put all the lines back on to the trailer and to the unit. We've got the damaged airline here, the better coupling. What we're actually going to do is take it back with us. So when we get back to the depot on our debrief, uh, let them know about the coil or the Bessie airline that's damaged so that they can hand it into the workshop to get a new coil fitted. Okay, so we've got everything done now. Close this up. Do our walk around checks. Finally take the trailer brake off and then we can go on our journey.